Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video with me. My name is Cotton Candy Doll. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome all. Hi. This is a shifting video. I'm going to jump right into what happened. Before that, I do want to announce that um, so my, the, the channels that I follow on Twitch, the I Am Baby Boy, he switched his name to Roy Francis. I don't know why he switched his name. I think maybe he was harassed by someone, and that might be why. I don't know. Um, didn't get an explanation there. And then there was also XLTV. They're going to be starting up soon again. They're waiting on a... They're waiting on a gaming PC. I thought the games actually went, ran pretty smoothly, but I guess I've never been on Twitch, so I don't know. But they'll be running again soon. They also have a lot of old videos you guys can watch. Uh, I left their links in the description. And then um, I also talked about Maid's Fair, uh, my, my dance coach at the Honey Tea Mint Cafe. Uh, her name is Maid's Fair, and I left her, um, her link below. She plays a lot of fun games. Uh, she actually went online playing a game last night and I couldn't join her because I was too busy. Uh, most of the time when she does her videos, I'm usually working. So most of the time I can't really tune in unless it's like the weekend or something or in like afternoon. Or I don't know about the morning, but anyway, a little bit about her. Um, she has mommy's milk. If you go on her, if you go on her Twitch page and you tell her that you're sad or you're feeling down, she'll moan for you, and she's really good at it. So if you go in there, you say, "Hey, Spare, I'm really depressed. Uh, I want to be happy." She'll start moaning and she'll ask you if you want mommy's milk, and you can say yes. She also has this really cool avatar. It, it's basically a maid with big uh, boobs. And like her face turns red, she goes into like horny mode. And you know, she has this this avatar on the side while she's playing her games. I think it's absolutely hilarious. It's like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I really like tuning in to her channel, but she just streams at times when I can't be there sometimes. And, but if she does happen to stream, like when I can go, you guys might actually see me on there. You might run into me because my name's exactly the same. It's Cotton Candy Doll. So. Anyway, um, I'm going to jump into my video. Before that, I'm going to tell you guys about um, the noises you might hear outside. They might be like a truck. You might hear like ducks quacking in the morning. I don't know why I've been hearing that every morning for some reason. I guess they're going somewhere. I don't know. Maybe they have to work too. Um, <laughs> no, that sounded silly. Yeah, yeah. If you hear any noises or anything, just ignore it. I also haven't had my tea, the morning tea yet, so the voice is probably going to be breaking out. I've been doing this video so early. I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. Oh my god, my time back at Pushing Nerds House, guys. Did I do something bad? I'm gonna admit, yeah, I did something, something, something big. Uh, I did this big. I'm not gonna give you guys any spoilers, but so just, I went to Toshi Nerds House in the morning. Sorry. <clears throat> I went to Toshi Nori's house in the morning. My idea was that I had to be at the school. So I showed up there and he's like, hello, my love. He kisses me. We're like making out a little bit. And he has a table set up. He has bacon and fried in a pan. It, oh, it smells fine, guys. And I'm like, uh, Toshi Nori, I was like, you got to get your bacon. He goes, okay, I can't let it burn. So he goes back and he puts it on our plates. And I noticed she's like, the coffee is already made. He's like, I've already got breakfast prepared for you. And he's like, let me pull out your chair. And he pulls my chair out. And I love watching Toshinari cook because he's wearing this apron. I really want to get him an apron too. I want to get him a cute one with like hearts on it. I don't know if he'll wear it because he's such a manly man. Like, I just don't know. Like, he's such a macho man. You know, big with muscles. Would he really wear something cute with hearts? He still has my hearts carved into his arms, so... You can never remove those. I guess that's good enough already. Anyway, I sit down and I notice he's being like super nice to me. And I'm like, what the heck is it? <clears throat> Sorry. I've done that like two times already, guys. 
I may have to pause for the video to get some tea. I really don't want to leave. I want to just keep talking to you and telling you guys what happens. Then my voice cracks again. That's really embarrassing. I'm sounding like a zombie just now. Like a zombie from Zombie Line. I love Zombie Line. Anyway, um, back to shifting. Sorry. I got distracted there for a minute. I'm into like zombies and stuff. I'm like, he's being super nice to me. Like, what is the deal? And I'm like, does he think, you know, does he think I'm on? Does he think like I'm on my period or something? And he's like smiling. And then he's like, and then he gets this look on his face and it's like, he looks kind of sad. Okay, yeah, I gotta pause. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta pause the video for two seconds. You won't even notice it. It'll stay, it'll be like one second, okay? We'll be right back. Stay tuned for the continuation of the video. <laughs> All right, yeah, because I gotta, I gotta get some tea or something. I have to. Sorry, just hold on one sec, okay? Just like one second. And we're back. I need to make sure. Okay, yeah, it's still recording. And we're back. So, sorry, I just got to get a drink of water. Like, I didn't want to be gone that too long from the video because I'm going to push for time today. So, he has a kind of this sad look, but it's not really sad. It's more like, mm, like that, like, mm, like that kind of look. And I go, um, Toshinari, is everything okay? And he goes, no. I go, what's the matter? He hands me this note. It's like a little, um, <laughs> God, what's just wrong with me today? He hands me this little note and it says, um, cotton candy doll on it. So I open it and it said, you know, we have on the school board, we've decided that it's best that you would, you don't pursue, you do not pursue becoming a teacher here until you're ready to actually show up the class like you're supposed to we're suspending you for the next six months during that time you're not allowed to enter into school property and um so there's a note at the bottom and it says and um it says in principle Nez is handwriting like um uh, i'm so disappointed to see i'm so disappointed to see that this has happened again a disappointment for you my disappointment is never, um, I don't know what, I forgot what the word he used was. Some high tech advanced freaking word. It's almost like you didn't, you never felt this point. You didn't fail to disappoint me again, basically. So I read it and immediately like, I got kind of like, I felt like irritated a little bit. I felt like really frustrated. And I said, Toshinori, you should have showed me this letter as soon as you got here. I disappointed him. That means, you know, I disappointed the kids or whatever. And he goes, you know, it comes with the territory and you really can't. And I was like, Toshinori, what did you say to him? Like, did you tell him that I was sick? Did you, what did you say? And Toshinori's like, I did everything I could. I argued with him. Um, He said that he like defended me. And I said, to what ends did you defend me? I wanted to know, like, how well he tried to, like, back me up. Because this wasn't my fault, Toshinori. It was yours that I was like, that this happened to me. And now I'm basically under temporary suspension, so I can't even go onto school property or I'll get arrested. Like, what kind of crap is that? Like, and then he goes, well, you know, right now there, there aren't really a lot of students there. And I go, why? And he's like, well, this today is a day off, so... Only like the parents are at the school, but they're only coming there for like a small meeting and then they're leaving. I'm coming there to stay with the students who are going to be in the class. And I go, why would there? You just said that students had the day off. What do you mean? It's like he's trying to like keep me from coming to the school. Like Toshinori is trying to stop me from coming to the school also. Maybe he doesn't want me. Maybe he thinks I'll get myself into trouble again. When have I ever just gotten myself control? I mean, when have I just done that? Like, oh, Toshinari, no need to worry. I'm not gonna do anything I shouldn't do. And I kind of like roll my eyes. He goes, did you just roll your eyes at me? I'm like, yeah. I did just roll my eyes because I felt like you didn't defend me. Like, what did you say to him? You obviously didn't do a good job if he's 
you know, if he's still thinking that, like, I'm this irresponsible person. And then she never even saw the a long size, like, <sighs> cotton candy that I told him what happened. I told him that it was my fault. And he said, you still chose to come to the school anyway. So that means that you're making poor choices. And he said he tried to explain, you know, it didn't hit me till later. And Principal Nazi said, since I had a few drinks, it was already common that I would come there and I would be like intoxicated, right? How was she able to teach a school that way? How was she able to teach a class that way? Whatever. Principal Nazi, you know, he told me that I let the kids down again, basically. But that letter just says he's disappointed. Everybody's disappointed. This and that. So I'm just going to basically become this awful person then. I mean, since I'm so awful, you know, why, why do I have to? And then I'm like, no, you know, I'm not going to fall into the hands of him telling me that. And him trying to, like, ban me off the property, you know. And so Toshinori's like, you know, I know I have to leave soon, but I'm going to leave you here. And then when I get back, we can talk more. I'm so sorry this happened to you. He puts his hand on top of mine. He goes, it's basically my fault, but I feel like Principal Nezu has, for some reason, he's like, it feels like he's like picking on you. Maybe you're new, maybe this is a prank. You know, maybe this, this is real, it can't be real. And it's like, you know, did Toshinori do this to be on purpose too? Like, it sounds like he's defending me, but, I, but did he do this on purpose so that like, he wouldn't have to share me with the rest of the school? I don't know. Anyway, so he's like, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna leave, and just wait here for me. You can do he's like, whatever you need, just get it. He's like, you know, I have I have snacks in the fridge. I have if you got if you want more coffee, there's more coffee there. He's like, you can watch TV. If you want to sleep, you can sleep. Because if you want to sleep all day, sleep all day. You can even take off all your clothes if you want and wait for me. And I'm like This freaking pervert. Whatever. I'm like, whatever. He goes, I'm gonna get ready to go. He goes into the bathroom. I hear like the water running and all that stuff. He's dr already dressed. So I don't know what he's doing. He's like brushing his teeth, what? And I get like really annoyed. I get like this attitude. I'm just like, I like kind of folded my arms and I'm just like, all of a sudden, you guys, I just got really mad and I'm like, no, Principal Nezu. No, I'm not going to listen to him. Toshinori, obviously he has like students he has to come watch over, even though no one's supposed to be at the school. I don't get it. Did Mr. Aizawa leave some kids behind again? I mean, so I start searching through his stuff and I find a note on his, on his, um, in his room on his dresser. So I open it. He's in the bathroom. Whatever. I open a note. It says like, um, Toshinori, blah, 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 um, class, class 1A, um, Mr. Aizawa substitute. And it says children left, it says children from, um, children from trip. There's six students on there. So I'm like, oh, so he left these kids behind again for whatever reason. And now they're gonna have boring Toshinori. Like, what the heck? His his class sucks. Like, maybe he's he's probably a good teacher, but those kids were miserable the last time I went there. I was like well, peeking in. You guys remember that? And I look at the names. I'm like, really? Ida is on the freaking list. Ida is there this time. It's like Ida, the freaking class rep. Why is he? Why was he left behind? You know, what kind of obstacles, what kind of test is he giving the, the children there? Like, those poor kids, you know? Guys. It's not their fault they got left behind, so why should they have to have a boring teacher? I'm reading the, li the, the list a little bit closer. All the names I know that's on there. Todoroki. You got Kirishima. You've got um, Kaminari on there. I see Izuku Midorio, Bakugo. I'm like, okay, so he has six kids on that on this list. And then Momo was on there. 
back. Okay, so Momo's on here. I'm like, is she the only girl? In, is she going to be the only girl? And Toshi knows he's still in the bathroom. So I close the note, I put it back on his desk, and I go in. So I'm like, Toshinori is going to have to be running a little bit late. So I go in the drawer, the one above the phone, and I get out that little, that syringe full of that stuff. I can't believe he put that in the same place. Like, I guess he trusts me, like, to do the right thing, right? And, you know, he comes out of the bathroom, and I stab him with it, and he goes, Kan Kemida, no. And he, like, falls over. Bam. It's, and I go, I'm sorry, Toshinori, but you won't be able to make it to school today. So I put the syringe and stuff back where it is, and I hurry and I, you know, go to the school. I'm hoping that no one will notice me. So I walk in, I walk in, I walk right past Principal Nezu's office, um, and I see Endeavor walking in the hallway. And he's like, Titan Candy Doll. I'm like, hey. He's like, hey. I'm like, he's like, oh, there, there's no one in the school. I go, where are the kids? He goes, they're in the classroom, but um, Toshinori is going to be here. He's going to be substituting for them today. He goes, why are you here? And I'm like, I'm, I'm just waiting for Principal Nezu. He, he said he needed to talk to me. I just made up that lie real fast because, you know, just make up something quick to get rid of him. Like, go. Oh. And Deborah leaves. So I make my way to a class 1A. And I don't know what Toshinori had, was going to do with them, but I have a feeling they were going to leave the classroom and probably go somewhere else. Guys, I go to the class, I open it, and of course, the first person who noticed me, my favorite one, Midoriya, runs up. Cotton candy, though. I'm like, hey, how are you? He's like, I'm good. And, you know, he's like, so, uh, Toshinori was going to be here today. I'm like, Toshinori, Toshinori's going to be running a little bit late. And Ida goes, what happened to, what happened to him? And I'm like, he ran into a villain. And they're like, oh, everyone's like, oh, what happened? You know? And I'm like, yeah, he's, he probably won't be back for a few hours. So you guys are going to have me in a, in the meantime. And they go, okay, we're going to have you. I'm like, yeah. And I go, um, I look around the room and I'm like, uh, Todoroki. He's like, yeah, I'm like, we're going to, we're going to do a stealth, but we're going to start off with a stealth mission. Okay. So principal Nezu's office is only like a few doors down. So I'm really kind of close. But I need to get the kids out of the classroom. My plan is to get them down into the gymnasium. And I want to lure them with like some games, some fun, you know, some fun training activities. So I go, Todoroki, you're going to be up first. So he comes up there. I go, our job is to get past Principal Nezu without him noticing. And Ida goes, why? And I said, this is the perfect time for you guys. I just ignore his question. I'm like, this is the perfect time for you guys to use your quirks. Your goal is to together to find a way to get to the gymnasium to find me. And honestly, this is just in case Principal Nancy comes back to do a final check to see if the kids are still there. I won't be in there. So I go, you know, Todoroki, you're in charge. And I run out and I go down to, <laughs> I run downstairs. So I'm looking around like crazy for the gym because I need to find a gymnasium so I can meet the kids in there. Since I've already been in the school, I have, I don't think I've ever been in a gymnasium before. I, I was outside. So, like, I finally find it. I go inside and I, like, close the doors. Then I rummage through, like, um, so they have, like, a, a closet. And there's a shelf there. It has a bunch of supplies. And I'm like, this is freaking perfect. So, like, I grab the tape. And I'm holding it, the tape in my hand. And I hear a knock at the door and I open it and all of the kids are there. Todoroki's there. Ida's there. <laughs> Kiroshina's there. Kaminari is there. Momo's there. Bakugo's there. So like they all walk in and they're like, piece of cake. 
And I was like, wasn't that a good stealth exercise? And they were like, yeah. So I go, Edith, close the door. So Edith closes the gym door or whatever. And he walks up, he goes, what are we doing now? I said, we're going to play a, a game. And then Madaria goes, what kind of game? And I'm like, the fun kind of game. And then like, they're all kind of looking like, uh, and Baku goes like, I'm starving. I'm like, who else here is hungry? If you're hungry, raise your hand. Everyone raises their hand. I'm like, okay, well, how about I order, how about I order us pizza? <laughs> and Tilly Rogan goes lame. I'm like, well, okay. I was like, you guys don't want pizza? And then Momo was like, I want pizza. She's like, I never get tired of pizza. And I'm like, I'm like, what else can we have? And then Ida's kind of like, Ida has like this suspicious look on his face. Like he just suspects something's not right. So then I go, Ida, I have a job for you. And he goes, yeah, I go, this is, this is a job for a leader. This is a leadership job. And I know like he perks right up after, right after I say that, because the idea, I guess, of him being a leader, since he's already class rep, I needed to give him something where he would be like in charge. So I tell him, your job is to find something that everyone will agree on. If you guys don't agree on something in five minutes, because I don't have a lot of time. The thing is, guys, I don't know I don't have a lot of time for this game. There's a chance I could get caught. That drug I gave Toshinori lasts for about two and a half hours or something. Um, he came out, he was like fully dressed. The only thing is he didn't have his shoes on or whatever, but maybe he was shaving, brushing his teeth or whatever. So when I knocked him out, he's going to have to get up and like recuperate himself before he comes back to the school. That gives me a little bit of time with them. And I really don't have time for them to be arguing about food. So Ida's like, okay, I'm like, you guys have five minutes. I said, if you guys don't choose something to eat, I'm not going to tell them they're not going to eat anything because I, I can't have kids passing out on my watch, especially with the game we're going to play. I go, I will get you guys something nice and healthy and nutritious, like maybe some apples. And, you know, Ida's like, well, apples is a good idea. I said, yeah, but apples, is that going to surface as a, like a lunch? He goes, all right, guys, let's figure out something. So they're talking over there. I'm like, I take the tape and I like separate the gymnasium from one side to the other. And Momo's over there talking to them. She like, she looks like she disagrees with what they're saying they want to get for food. And I go, Momo, come here. So she runs over and I'm like, um, I'm going to need your help for this game. She goes, okay. She goes, what can I do? I said, while they're ordering the food, I need you to make this. I tell her what I want her to make. And I said, don't help, don't let anybody know. It's a surprise. And she goes, okay. So she's in the closet making these items we need for our game. And then they finally walk up to me and they're like, we figured out what we're going to have. And I go, what is it? And they're like, we found this restaurant. It's called All in One. It has everything there. It has like pizza. It has... um some of the Japanese traditional um, entrees. It also has like Korean food. It has Thai food. It also has a like, you know, it has pizza and stuff. So basically American food is the only one, which is really cool. I kind of want to see this place up up close. And so I go, Ida, what did you order? And he's like, well, I'm taking all everyone's orders now. What do you want? I said, I want Korean. I want Korean food. Guys, I love Korean food. My favorite is dakboki. I love dakboki. Uh, dakboki chincha chuayo, dakboki bokushipo, bokushipo yo. I love dakboki. That's my favorite. That and kimchi. I like kimchi jjigae. The kimchi jjigae is the best. I love it. Anyway, um, so like he's like, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and order stuff. So I tell him dakboki and kimchi jjigae. And he like, he's like, okay, he ordered. Anyway, long story short, our food arrives. Um, and it gets to us so fast. I thought we would get caught because like the delivery person, they came in and they had this big cart full of everything. And they like pushed everything over to us. And they were wearing all white. 
almost kind of like what a chef would wear without the hat. Instead, it was like jacket, you know. So he comes in and he's like handing out all the food to everyone. And I'm like, we can eat on the bleachers over there. So while they're eating, I go and I check on Momo. And I go, Momo, that's great, you know. I'm like, you can go eat with your friends. And they give me my food. So I go in the back and I'm like, I'm in like the closet area getting everything ready. And so like, there's only one more item I needed, guys. Okay, so this is the thing. If you're already in deep water, like I said, how much deeper can you go? Is it possible for me to get even in more trouble than what I'm already in? Just because I want to have fun with the kids? Because we're definitely going to do something fun. So like... I had Momo make a bunch of um, water guns, enough for the whole class. And and then I looked around and I found the paint. Have you guys ever played Splatoon? Have you ever seen a Splatoon battle? That's totally what we're going to do. So I finished eating. Ida comes up. He's like, oh, I'm like, okay, I need you guys to separate into teams. So Ida chooses Todoroki, Makugo. Um, and then Kanamari, Kiroshima, blah, Kir Kiroshima, Momo, Zuku, they decide, they decide to, you know, team up. And then who were the other two? Because Toshinori's list only had six kids, but there were clearly more kids here than I expected. So they finally joined up. And so, like, we separated into teams and... I told them, I said, okay, so if you've ever played Splatoon before, you know that they can never use, they never use colors that are like, they use green, but it's like a light green. They're using red because they don't use red or, or, dark, or uh, they don't use red or like dark green. That was the only paint I could find. So I already filled up the guns. I gave it to them and they go, what's this? And I go, so you guys have to try and paint each other's turf. Whoever has the most is the winner. And Ida goes, is it really okay to do this? And I go, yeah, it's fine. And I go, Ida, you're going to be the team leader for both of the teams. So Ida, I'm like, ready? Start. So they start. They're like, they have like the paint. And then, you know, so I'm going to help the team that's losing. Oh, and I offered up prizes too. I said, if you win, then you're going to get like something special. I said, everyone will get something, but the team that wins will definitely get something like way better. It's a surprise, basically like gift cards or whatever. Um, and I, maybe I'll have Toshinori get them because I don't really know how things work there. I don't know what kind of places, but I, for the kids, like to get them like a prize. Honestly, I mean, I feel like this is like the perfect game, right? I mean, you really can't go wrong here. And Ida goes, this feels wrong, but I can't stop playing. And so they're running around and they're trying to like shoot each other's turf and your paint is getting all over the gymnasium, red and green paint. And the thing is like when you place a platoon and the paint and the paint mixes together, it doesn't actually mix together. It doesn't change color. It just gets painted over that other color. I didn't really think about that when it when it started. It, it almost changed into it was like a maroonish kind of like brownish color. <laughs> you know like mixed together and so like they're like and uh so they're like painting each other's turf and then I look around and I decide you know what I'm gonna be on Momo's team because I'm gonna be on Momo's team because girl power so I grab a nickel that isn't fair you know you can't do that and I'm like and we're all shooting each other we're shooting like the paint and then paint you know gets everywhere it gets all over the walls and I hear what is going on and I turn around and Principal Nezu's standing like at the door. And we're like, the kids are covered in paint. I'm covered in paint. There's paint like dripping off the ceilings. And he's like, cotton candy da, explain yourself right now. And um, Ida tries to walk up and he's like, no. So I go out, I stand, step outside the door, like paint all over my arms, everything. And he goes, I'm going to call the authorities on you, especially since I told you not to come here. I know Toshinori gave you the message. Where is he? 
why should I have, why should I have to tell you anything? I throw him like some attitude because you know what? You've given me nothing but attitude since I got here, but I'm going to give it back. Principal Nanza goes, fine, you know, suit yourself then, be that way. And I go, I was not about to let the kids down again. I don't care what you think of me, but what those kids think of me is more important than what you think. So do whatever you want. Expel me if you want to. But I'm not someone who lets people down. And I storm out of there, paint, you know, tracking paint all along the hallway as I go out, all the way to outside. It's like dripping off my body. And I'm leaving out and I'm angry. And I pass Toshinori. He's like on his way in. And he looks at me at the corner of his eye. He goes, Can't get it off. He's like, You're going to pay for this. And I keep walking. I'm like, Whatever. So I go and I take a shower at Toshinori's house. And, you know, to get all the paint and everything off me. And I start to grab my clothes, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to leave this here. I leave my clothes and everything there, and I just shift out. The thing is, I do care about, I do care about what the kids think, and that's it. That's the only thing that matters to children. Someday, I would like to adopt kids. I'm interested in adopting older kids. Kids like 15, 16, 17. 14 might be a little bit young. At that age, you're still kind of like very little kid. So like, I don't want to. I want to have like um, the idea of having like an older kid around. You're basically like a little man or a little woman. So I think I want to adopt at least two or three older kids in the future. Like after I've gotten after I've gotten my career and everything taken care of once I finish school, because then I'll actually have time to spend with them. And also, I get to choose. You know, whatever kids I want. I mean, I don't have to. I think that's that's probably not you know, probably not logical for me to say, but like, that's a benefit of being able to adopt children. You can choose who you want your children to be. So, and it, for me, it doesn't race doesn't really matter, but gender will for me. I definitely want you know a boy and a girl, or two boys, two girls, or a boy, a girl, and a boy, whatever not just not like the same gender they have to be different because i want to give both kids they're two different ones a different the same opportunity or whatever most people probably are probably just like you know she might be you know a little crazy not really because i know most people like to adopt like babies little kids i really don't want to i mean I was raising kids at the age of 13, little babies, little infants, and I have like six nephews. I mean, I used to wake up at night and change them and feed them. I mean, I've already been through the whole waking up in the night thing as a mom, <laughs> even though I'm not a mom. So I already, I already got that experience. I already know what that's like. So I'm kind of like over it. <laughs> I have done that several times. I'm babysitting stuff too. So it's like, you know, but the older kids, it'll be easier for me to adopt them. It won't take like, oh, this whole thing just turned into an adoption thing, right? I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes I get carried away when I'm talking, but I think I made a good impression on the kids. At least the kids like me. They got to eat. I bought them like pizza and whatever other stuff they wanted. You know, I got to have kimchi, chige, and dakboki. <sighs> dakboki. I, I absolutely love. I love that. That's my favorite. That's my favorite Korean dish. It's really good. If you guys ever eat it, if you guys ever eat um, duck bogey, you're going to see, like, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I just don't like food. Or I haven't eaten yet, guys. I haven't eaten, so I don't really know how long this video is. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys what happened. I'm probably like you're walking on eggshells or probably fell through them by now. You can't expect me to like not have any reaction. Like, and the thing is, the kids have fun. That's what matters. I hope he doesn't try to chew Ida out and say, you know, you knew that was wrong. But Ida is still a kid too, so he really can't get mad at him. I just wanted them to have so much fun. That's like the funnest thing in the world to me, Splatoon. I absolutely love it. 
I can't play it all the time. The only times I can play is like early in the morning for work. Um, if I've tried playing it on my days off, then it doesn't work sometimes because the internet connection isn't that great. So um, I wanted to share this video with you guys. Do you guys think that I'm going to be in trouble? Um, Toshinori is going to be like mad at me, but you should have defended me better. Like, I'm sorry. The physical Nezu should not have given me that letter. He said you're grumpy pants. Jeez. But I feel like I got my point across to the kids. That's all that matters. If I never go back to the school again, all that matters is that they were all laughing. Oh, and Toshinori? Anyway, Principal Nezu lied to you. Because there were way more kids in that room than there was on that list. Okay. Midoriya's name wasn't even on there. You know? Um, who else? Kaminari's name wasn't on there. Sure, uh, Todoroki, Bakugo, and everyone else, but... Anyway. Be honest with each other, guys. Like, seriously. <laughs> I just, I, I got had a moment there. Yeah. I hope my video is not, I hope it's not too, like, I hope it's not too dark. I hope it's, like, bright enough for you guys to be able to see me. When I go back there, I don't know what I'm going to do. Toshinori is, he's probably going to kill me. Because you know what? He just is. He was late to school. I hope he gets chewed out for being late. Like, you want, you didn't defend me well, so you're going to get chewed out. Whatever. Maybe I'm wrong for what I did. But like I said, the kids, they matter more than anything. Their happiness. Their, I'm not going to be a boring teacher. Sorry. Did I have to be that dramatic? Did I have to use paint? I think I did for that situation, you know? No, I didn't have to. We could have honestly went outside. I could have used water guns. We could have had a water fight. It was a hot day. It was pretty hot there. We could have did that instead. Um, probably could have used different water guns, different colors for different teams. In a less dramatic situation, that probably would have happened. But for some reason, I just went ham. I don't know. <laughs> No, I didn't go crazy. Like, I'm not crazy. I just, I wanted to do something for the kids that they will remember. So, if they never see me again, they will always remember this from me. So, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. So, that way you're notified of other videos when they show up. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait, before I say that, let's just say um, I have been working on my anime All-Stars game. I have Honey Senpai's character. And I might share that with you later, either later today or tomorrow, just to show you how far I've gotten in the game. A lot of other things in the game have failed on me, but... I'm good at making things work the way they're supposed to. So um, I hope you guys like it when I show it to you guys. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Um, Yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.